Instead of our regular app directory image, I thought it would be good to use a video to demo notational velocity because it's kind of hard to see how awesome it is until you start using it. So, this is basically the interface that you're set up with, and you can create a note by just typing a name, like new note, hitting return, and then typing what you want. Maybe I should actually typing what you want. There we go. Okay, so that's how you do a new note. And then and then if you want to create another note, then you just go back up here and you type another note. And there you have it. And there you have it. And it's that simple. Very simple. And you can use simple styles like bold and italics. Now, you can see here I've got those two notes in there, and if I type another, you can see it started to select that. And I can hit return and I can start editing in notational velocity, editing that note again. Now, when you have a lot of notes, that's really handy because you can type and search really quickly. And if you want to create a different note, then you just create a different note. And these are the titles of your note, whatever you search for is the title of your note, and then when you type in the body, the body is what you get. And that's basically how you use notational velocity. It's that simple. Um, there's, not a really, there's not really a whole lot to it, but you do have a couple of options. You can synchronize with simple note. You can change how they're stored. Right now for this demo, I'm just using plain text files, but you can have a single database with encryption. But plain text is great if you want to save your um, notes. You want to synchronize with simple note, um, but also um, save your notes in a folder in your Dropbox so you can have them syncing in both places and then it can recognize these different kinds of files. So that's great. You can change colors. You can um, you know, decide if you want basic styles or not. You can choose how your tabs are, if they're actual tabs or soft tabs, meaning a bunch of spaces. Um, basically, there's not a whole lot here, but you can uh, um, change a few things. And then, of course, if you wanted to tag a note, say this one's important, you can do that too. And that way, if you type important, you'll get all the notes that are tagged with that. So that's basically how notational velocity works. There's not really a whole lot you need to know, but it's really great, it's really simple, and that's why it's our choice for the best note-taking syncing app.